Hello and welcome, this is Darius Barzande, and this is a special energy update for Friday, January 12th to Monday, January 15th. And originally I wasn't going to do an energy update, but as the energies of the week started playing out and some of the cosmic events that I'm going to talk about actually started opening up and the energy started coming in during our weekly sessions and, and everything we did, I knew we had to do an update today. So I want to share a few things that are pretty important that will help you move into the weekend with more ease, grace, and maybe some big understandings coming forward for you. You've probably heard the term master number and that 2018 is a master number or a master year. Well, why is that? Well, the number 11 is a mastery number. And if you take the date 2018, the year, and you add up all the numbers, the two, the one, the zero, and the eight, you basically get the number 11. And 11 is something that we tend to see from a sacred standpoint as a number that contains and holds a very high vibration. You may also notice that you see 11s at certain times when you're really connected. That might be the 11, 11 on a clock or might be seeing an 11 on some like temperature in your stove or different things like that. 11s tend to show up as signs or our, our attention is drawn to an 11 when it appears and that is a connection that we are actually getting guidance from a higher space or we're more aligned, we're more connected or maybe it's confirmation. Maybe you set out a question, you say, you know, I really need to know, do I need to go and um, do that one thing or move to that city or do I need to make this life transition and you see an 11 and it's showing up on a clock and you happen to look in that moment, that moment you're connected and that may be your confirmation that yeah, you need to do this. And 2018 is a mastery number, so we need to pay attention to all of these energies that come forward. And one of the big energy portals that opened up yesterday, and I would argue it is still in effect today and into the weekend, is the date, which was 111. Today is Friday, January 12th. This is big because this is a doorway, a gateway that we can use to maximize the energies of really discovering what it is we are here to do, really discovering what it is we are here to create. And this gateway timed with something that happened on the 7th and the 5th of this Mars and Jupiter actually got into a conjunction. And what that means is they basically lined up right next to each other where they're basically in a, in a fairly straight line. And this alignment actually magnified certain energies. Now, if you hear about the Mars energy, which we don't often we talk a lot about Jupiter, <clears throat> Jupiter being about luck and chance and fortune. Many people feel that like when we have like the moon in Jupiter, it brings abundance, it brings new opportunities. Well, Mars energy is also an interesting one because it's all about action. It's about moving forward, new direction, uh, taking, you know, taking the time to change. It also many times is associated with anger or even lust because there's that driving force, that root force of change, that root force of, you know, shifting direction. Moving that in with Jupiter, which is all about fortune and luck, now your new change has some interesting things that could happen with it. Your new change has some universal cosmic support to move into more of a lucky space. So you may be feeling, along with the 111 gateway and some of the energies that were still coming in from the 5th to the 7th, and I'd say still present here right now, this feeling this weekend of moving into change. And so I wanted to share this with you because it is the backdrop of as we move into this weekend, what is really in our fields. And so if you want change, or you wanna move into a whole new space, you're really supported this weekend. So it's a great time to do that. Now, if you remember last weekend, I shared that it was kind of a going inward weekend. We had the new year, we had all of this hoopla, and then now it's like, let's go in. Now that we've gone in, it, it may be that you're feeling the urge to come out and go forward. So take time to maybe make a few choices this weekend in your life or in your path to do that. And you will be more supported than perhaps last weekend. Last weekend wasn't about going outward and thrusting forward. It's about going inward, making sure you're getting the right guidance so you could be set up perfectly for this weekend and the coming week. And it's incredible, 2018 being a mastery year, 
because those numbers add up to 11, you're going to see a lot of support cosmically for us to move forward. And you're also going to see a lot of things coming forward that we cannot imagine. So get ready. There's a lot happening to evolve Earth to a higher level so we can ascend. I've been talking more and more about it on the calls and much more. And we've got a really special weekend planned for you. Uh, we had an incredible week. First of all, uh, we started the week off with a gentleman named Cameron Day, who is incredible. He started his work in the area of ascension, helping people to actually get help as they ascend and understand how to release some of the heavy energies. And he's come up with an incredible way to actually manifest what you truly want in your life in aligning with these 5D energies. And so take a listen to Cameron Day's session. It was one of the richest and most profound we've ever done with some very huge practical steps. And if you're somebody that uses things like affirmations, you're gonna actually get on the call a very simple way to shift that that empowers your heart and will open you up to what I call 5D. And I could go more and more into this, but just take a listen, it's great. We also had the next day, Tuesday, uh, Janice New know who Alini and she was incredible. We uh, opened up any blockages to love, to romance, to moving into your truth, to really plugging into also this cosmic love that's coming into earth. I think the 5D ascension energies are all about more cosmic love bringing in more light. And if you notice, I have a heart behind me in my house. <laughs> my wife's already preparing for Valentine's Day. Um, but this is the truth is that we are surrounded by love, not just on Valentine's Day or in these sorts of events. We're always surrounded by love. Janice is going to help you open up to that. And these could be O's. These could be contracts. These could be ancestral patterns that are blocking love in your life. Anything that could stop you. And love doesn't have to be just this romantic love. It's also the love of just life. You know, if you wake up every day and you feel like just grateful for being alive. You feel the love of the trees and the sky and earth and just your body like vibrating and sending its energy throughout all of your, you know, extremities so you can move and you can talk and you can think and you can see and you can process and you can feel in your heart. This is love energy. This is expansive energy. So she opens all of that for you. Incredible. And on Wednesday, we had Karen Lagrange. And the reason I want to bring this up is we did some of the most wild crystal matrix stuff for 2018. So if you've heard the crystal matrix or the box clearings, get ready. She does tons of them, but with a very specific focus, 2018, we're in mastery. We can start the year off in a whole new way. We can slough off those old energies, even stuff that we picked up each week, we slough it off, we move forward. Crystal matrix clearings will do that. She did a bunch of them on the call and she's got some new year's pyramids in somewhat limited quantities because she's getting really busy. So if you'd like one to take your intention that you want for the new year and ground it and keep it in a device that actually will amplify that energy using crystals and special metals and conductive materials, it is going to be something you may want to look at. And that's Karen Lagrange. And on Thursday, this was a mind blower. I've been sort of buzzing all day about this. And it was a beautiful guest named Dawn Crystal. She's brand new to Ewalt Revolution, but she's been doing energy work for 30 years. And she literally, at some level, is, I believe, in my opinion, channeling angelic frequency or angelic voice or angelic sound. If you've ever heard dolphins, how they sound, a lot of people believe that dolphins are actually the Arcturians and Palladians incarnated. They make a sound that is a very high-pitched sound. Well, the angelic frequencies of Dawn Crystal actually sound a little bit like that. She makes it with her voice. And uh, as I've gone deeper with her, there is some belief this could be angelic voice channeled through. This could be angelic frequency. We had some of the most profound shifts on that call. And it is uh, one of those milestones. If you ever heard light language and you remember the first time you heard it, this is like one of those things where we're getting exposed to so many new energies and so many new things because Earth's ascension is happening and it needs to happen and it will happen that the energies are opening up in people in ways we can't even imagine. So that is happening too. You've got to hear that session. Plus, we have some beautiful other things open for you, including uh, some one-on-one -on -one sessions with Debbie Johnson that are still open and her session is being reopened and also Lynn Waldrop. We haven't talked much about, you know, Lynn Waldrop's amazing work, but if you're feeling like you want to let go of some of the heaviness or weight, and maybe it is a physical or an emotional thing, she's also reopened her session and given us a chance to reopen it so you can listen. She does some amazing clearing. I thank you and I want you to know that you matter. So I've got just 
30 seconds because I know these are usually no more than 10 minutes, so I don't want to go too far over. I just want to do a quick love activation, plugging into your heart right now and knowing wherever you are. We've had a lot of people on calls that have been in challenge and in fear and in, even in physical pain. And if that's the case, I want you to know you are supported. We love you. And I just want to send this love energy to your heart right now, to you. And thank you for being in my life. And I'm just going to ask that we can invoke the Wealth Grid and all the higher angels, masters, guides, send love to you right now, wherever you are, that you feel it in your heart now. Thanks for being in my life and thanks for opening this up. So remember, Big Gateway, change is supported. Big Gateway, the movement, the thrust, the fortune with Jupiter, the 11 with mastery. So there's going to be some more opening up to higher truth and wisdom and much more this weekend. And we'll do some more energy updates for next week because it's a big energy week as well. Much love and stay connected to your cosmic universe. The world is changing. You are a multidimensional being. You matter. Humans are free and you can create any life you truly want. Much love and thank you for being in my life.